So I've been spending some time with React lately, and I just wanted to share how you can just kind of easily get up and running with it on JS Bin. You know, just if you want to do some quick experimentation or you know, share with a coworker, friend, little experiment you have going on, um, I found it pretty handy. So I just have a blank JS Bin right here, and first thing I'll do is I'll drop this down and choose Babel. It's going to handle our JSX along with some other things. So I'll also just pull in React here, and we just need a target to render into. Call it React Example. There we go. So an absolute basic, you know, hello world. We can just use React Render. And that's going to take two arguments. One is going to be our component that we're rendering. Uh, right now we can just do a little inline h1, hello world, and our target. Which is going to be react example. And there we go. So now that's react hello world. Right there. We can just take it a little bit further. Let's go ahead and just pull this out into a hello world component. So we can say hello world component. And right now we'll stick with the create class syntax. And all we really need to pass this is the render method, which is going to be this. And we'll go ahead and render that right here. self-closing there we go and you can see that it is rendering from here and now we have our hello world component um, and, and then you know one step further we could say you know let's pass a property into this and say name let's say name is Joe Schmo and instead of saying hello world we can say Props.name. Hello, Joe Schmo. So you can see that was pretty easy to get that up and running. And because we're using Babel right here, we can also do a few other things. You notice we're using this um, improved syntax for object literal methods right here. Well, another one that we can do is we can actually use the ES6 classes. So we can say class, hello world component. We're going to extend. React component, and then we just need to drop some of this. That should do it. Let's take a look. Oh, extends. There we go. And we have an ES6 class component right here. So I know that's pretty basic and probably nothing terribly new to you, but I've just found um, JS has been pretty handy lately. and. You know, a lot of features, if you do set up JS Bin, which I do suggest you do, make sure you, you go to your settings and edit some of your um, editor settings. You can actually get some real cool things. If you're from the Sublime world, you get a lot of that multi-cursor there. If you haven't given React a shot or JS Bin, I recommend just giving it, a, giving it a whirl. I've been playing with it lately and um, using it at work, and it's certainly been giving us a lot of benefits. So that is that.